Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Royal Mystic Tarot. This is your reading for February 2018. As always, this is a general reading and not everything is going to be 100% unless I am like, you know, a stellar. <laughs> if I'm really dialed in, just look out. But um, let's say 98%. Um, this is a predictive reading. And if you want something that's 100% tailored for you, you can look in the description below and see my connections, my website. I'm on Instagram. I do personal readings. You just contact me. I'll be happy to help you. This is for all Tauruses who are watching. And this is to give you some insight and some answers to some things that may or may not even be in your realm of possibility at this moment you may not even be aware of some of the things that are coming towards you so I'm trying to help you and I love doing this I ask all my spirit guides angels archangels divine guidance please help me give Taurus the answers they may need for the month of February these all turned over, so I'm going to take them. February 2018. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, I'm doing a broad reading. Uh, I'm going to do some career and relationships over here to my left. Oh, that fell right out. Not career. Love and relationships, career and finance on the other side. Love and relationships. The cards know what they're doing, even if my words don't. <laughs> Thank you, Divine Guidance, for giving Taurus some insight into the month I'm taking. Uh, February. Oh, nice. 2018. Thank you, Divine Guidance, for helping Taurus get the answers they need. Some guidance for the month of February 2018 in career and finance. Three cards. Thank you, Universe, Divine Guidance, Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Divine Guidance, for helping my higher self interpret the cards. Too many. For Taurus, for the month of February 2018. Taking it. I'm feeling like I want to switch that. I don't, uh, haven't really paid attention to what it is, but I feel like that is how it goes. And the overall energy, the overall energy is a little bit of squabbling. There's a little bit, a little bit of controversy. Okay, I'm going to take a clarifier for your love and relationship from. Amira Love Oracle cards, Amira Salon developed these cards. They were through a channel. I just think it's amazing. She came up with these cards and they're just beautiful and simple, straightforward. I saw her read with them and she actually has them for sale on her site. So if you are someone who's interested in doing readings, or you'd like to do them for yourself. Amira Salon. And it's, here we go. Amira Salon. Enough said. Thank you, Angels, Archangels, for giving us a clarifier for Taurus for the month of February 2018. I just need one card. Thank you. 
Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine guidance. Taurus, February 2018. What do you have for Taurus? Clarifying their love reading. Sometimes it takes a second, and that's a lot. Let me try again. I kind of felt like one was sticking in my hand, but then I dropped half the deck, so. Thank you, universe. I feel like that's the card. And I'm going to pull a clarifier. From the Tori Hartman Chakra Oracle Cards. These were gifted to me. They are amazing. I like them very much. These were also channeled. Uh, people are so amazing with their gifts. I just feel honored. Boy, I feel honored to be using something that came from someone else's higher self. We're all connected, so it's all our higher selves. But it's out here in the world because they took the time to listen to their soul. And that's what we're doing here today. And they help us by giving us the tools. Okay. Four of Swords. Four of Swords is relax, rejuvenate, reboot is what I've, I've got on this one. Um, you may be recovering from an injury. You may be recovering from some very trying times in your life. This is the card of recovery. This is taking a second to do for yourself. Allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to regroup. Uh, this is a sabbatical. This is a Take, take a step back, let the chips fall where they may, start again. Here's the good news. It's not a bad thing because Mr. Emperor is right here. So you haven't lost any of your strength. By doing this, you will actually come back stronger, better, more ready to handle anything. This guy is the master of the universe. Here's the wheel of fortune basically and with all our star signs he is literally holding the universe in his scepter he is controlling everything nothing gets past him this is a very knowledgeable very caring this is to me, uh, the father of, the, of everything, the father of existence, the father of creation. The empress would be the mother. This is the father. This is the ace of pentacles. Uh, this is your new beginning. This is the offering of starting over. Now, pentacles are not fast moving card. So you may have been waiting for this, or you may be building up to this. But this is made, the waiting has happened. Here it comes. It's being offered to you. And it is from the divine. This is divine love, equal, your perfect partner. It can be you joining with your higher self. Okay? This is a spiritual experience. Sexual too, but spiritually sexual. How's that? Apparently you've been waiting on that a minute because you've been going through some stuff. I don't know if you're going through it. To me, this screams... I've, Divorce. This is a lot of work. Either you're, you've been through the ringer, literally. This is the, the battle after the battle. Here we are. I've gathered all my stuff. 
uh, everybody's kind of crawling along or there's spears in the ground. Um, it looks like either the dawn or the sunset, but this person's kind of putting their boot up on somebody. So, I don't know if you've just had a really challenging time either trying to find someone or you, you're feeling like you want to give up on it. You've just been plodding along and trying and trying and trying. God smiles on you. The universe smiles on you. This is the, the Ace of Cups. This is the highest divine energy. This is the Holy Grail. This is the literal eye of the universe. The divine light shining down. It's rays of, of wonderful creative. This is emotion. The cup is, is always... Anything liquid is emotion, family. So this is all the phases of the moon. This is everything coming, coming together. Aces are always a new beginning. And we got the clarifier. True love. I don't know. There's really... Here it comes. You've been struggling and plodding along and going forward. And if you're, if you're in a relationship and you've been trying to mend it, it looks like you're finally reaching something. If you're looking for a relationship, here it comes. Okay, and your finance and career. Well, this can't do, be too bad. You've got a lot of money going on here. She's in literally the Garden of Eden. They call this the spinster card. This is someone who is of their own means. They don't need anyone else. Sometimes that's a really great, well, not so. Who doesn't think that's a really great feeling to be of your own power financially? Being able to take care of business, not have to depend on someone else, then you come at it with a real truth of you're not just there to get a paycheck. You're there because it pays well and you're there for the right reasons. You enjoy it. This is, this is you being sustained both emotionally and financially. Now, this may be something that you're wanting. This is the center of your thought. And you're worrying that maybe it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Maybe you've just gotten a new job offer and you're afraid that maybe it, it's too good to be true. You feel kind of left out um, on the sideline. Uh, Maybe you're waiting for them to call you back. You just keep tending. This is a seed that's sown. So whatever you're doing to manifest or to support yourself, keep it in good order. This shows you tending to it. It will come to pass. The money is there. This may be about your retirement. You may be worried... That's, that just hit me like a ton of bricks when I said it. Um, this is a woman who can take care of herself, okay, or a person who is sustained, no problems, no worries, doesn't sweat the bills when they come each month. I feel like you're coming to a point to where you're ready to not have to work anymore, but you are afraid to quit your job and allow yourself. You're afraid of the, it, the time coming. The time is coming, the time is coming, that's what I'm hearing. The time is coming, you're, you're trying to really, really, you wanna live this lifestyle, you're, you're trying to tend and you're worried that it won't be enough. So maybe I did have that in the right order. When I laid it down the first time, that's how I laid it down. And it's okay. You're, the, the outcome is the essence of existence. You are creating your own destiny. You're tending to everything that you need right here. 
don't let your fear it's all right here it's all just because you have your back to it doesn't mean this see same same kind of image it's up in the trees it's over her head it's not down here in her basket it's not ready for that but it's there it will come down when she needs it she's got a ladder to get to it it's there don't worry about it let it take care of itself you're you're doing all that you can to make to to put away and to take care of yourself five of wands in this closed position here five is change so to me and and the wands have to do with work this is you and this is also five this is you afraid of leaving your job and creating a new life for yourself you want to make sure you can be sustained you'll be fine the change is coming like it or not and if you're doing all the things that it says you're doing here you'll be ready to take care of yourself thank you Taurus I hope you have a fabulous February please like share and subscribe and I'll see you next month